What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about 12 reasons why you are more attractive than you think. I know you guys be thinking, oh I'm just regular, oh I'm just this. No, you're actually hot as fuck and you don't fucking know it. So today I'm gonna point out the shit that you got, you, you, you watching. I know you got those things and you think it's regular. You think it's in the bag, you don't even think that has anything, um, any effect on women. And I'm telling you, you're wrong. So hopefully with what I'm going to tell you today is going to help your confidence and boost your, I don't know, boost yourself, boost your self-esteem all the way because you have all those characteristics. Okay. Before we start real quick, I wrote a book and I made an e-course and a, a e-book, I mean, and a course that you can, you can see me and I talk, you know, you know how I be talking a lot here. I, I do that too. So you can check me out at um, shopmelimonaco.com. My book, course, and ebook is called The Ultimate Love Cheat Code. So on there, you can find a bunch of shit. It's a, it's a quick read. And uh, if you don't want to read, you can just go and listen to it. And if you don't want to do none of that and you want the visual, you get the course. Okay. All right. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, let's jump right in. 12 reasons why you are harder, you are more attractive than what you think. Number one, you are humble and modest. Yes, that's a good characteristic. You know, nowadays everybody is so into themselves thinking, oh, I'm the best, I'm this and this. Shut the fuck up when they're not. That's also the thing. <laughs> You're not the best motherfucker, so shut up. But if you are humble and modest, that is really a quality that is lost nowadays. So if you have it, that's really something attractive. You know, you can find yourself good looking, but you know, when you talk, that's not something you, you, you got to brag about. You're like, yeah, I'm all right. We know you're more than a right, motherfucker. What's your name? But that's a good quality to have. Number two, you are financially responsible. You know how many people uh, live paycheck to paycheck, not because they don't make enough money, but because... They're just showing off, showing off, blowing money here, there. You know, they, they know they can't afford that car, but that car is going to make them look good. So they're going to go get that car. No, you're dumb. You're just dumb at this point. But you living below your means, having goals, having a plan is actually very attractive to women. Women want a man with a plan. Number three, you take pride in your appearance. Yes, you put yourself together really nicely. Uh, you choose your clothes properly, you know, whatever fits, nothing too baggy, nothing too tight. Uh, you are groomed properly. All of this is very attractive. So even if you think you're not the best looking dude, if your appearance is clean, neat, all of that, you are going to bag bitches and bitches are going to be like, who is this? I am telling you. While I'm talking about your appearance, it takes me to my number four, your skin. If your skin is flawless, you're very attractive. I like very, very like it's you're at the top. I am telling you. So that's why I want to talk to you about T Lee because this is the skincare and complicated. I know you guys be thinking, well, skincare is difficult. You know, um, it's too many products, too many instructions. No, T Lee send you everything you need and nothing that you don't. And I'm telling you, you are sometimes not thinking of the benefits of having a good skin, not just with bitches, but with people in general, with your career, with in any environment, a good skin never will hurt you. So they send you a wash, a little wash. So hopefully you wash your face twice a day, morning and night. Then they have moisturizers. They have a AM one and a PM. I'm sorry, I'm making noise. AM and PM. So obviously the PM one is for night, the AM one is for the morning. And um, they send you a scrub. Oops. Twice a week you use the scrub so you know your skin is clean, clean. And then the bumps do not come back. So you don't have to take my word for it. There is 5,000 five star reviews online. So you can go check them out and see that I ain't lying, okay? And because Tish and Lee is sponsoring the video today, they are giving you, my lovers, 30% off your first order. So all you got to do is click the first link in the description of this video and you will be on your way to perfect skin. I, can, I cannot sing. But yes, <laughs> check out Tish and Lee right now. Number five, you're working out. Yes. So if you have a hard body, you can have a hard body and an ugly face and still bag bitches. I am telling you. So if you don't have the face, 
make sure you get the body because the body is up to you. You can like lift, you can go run, you can go lose some weight. Go do what you need to do to have the body. Number six, you are a great conversationalist. That's a tough word for me, but you know, you can have great conversations. You are kind of like a social ninja. You know how to engage and keep people engaged in conversations with you. This is really attractive. I am telling you how many times I go on date and these motherfuckers have nothing to talk about. Not saying it's only on them. I would bring up topics and talk and, and then they give me one word answer so we can't go nowhere. And I'm like, okay, well, next topic, then let me think. Let me... And then it gets me worked up and stressed instead of just being relaxed and figuring out how we're going to like each other or if we like each other. So yeah, if you cannot talk, this is tough. But if you can talk, I'm telling you, that's very attractive because most motherfuckers do not know how to talk. I am telling you, take my words for it. They don't know how to talk. Number seven, you have a growth mindset. This is very attractive to women because, you know, we want to get better. We want to elevate or we want to, maybe we don't want to do that, but we want you <laughs> to get better, to elevate, to want to achieve um, bigger things. We are drawn to people who are like this. Also, if you have that mindset, it's going to make you more intelligent and therefore you're going to have... Uh, more to talk about, more to share, more to teach, and right there. Number eight, you are goal-oriented and you are motivated. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty, to take action, to achieve what you've been talking about, to achieve what you want. Again, very attractive to women because we want to jump on the train and do nothing. <laughs> we're on the train, conductor, uh, let's go. And we're just watching you. We want to be part of this trip. And the trip is to go up. If the trip is to go down, we don't, we don't want no part. Number nine, you are optimistic. This is such a great attribute. Because, you know, we, if being around Debbie Downers do not make us feel happy <laughs> at all. But when you're optimistic, we're like, oh, yeah, no, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. You see, it's going to work out. Don't worry. It draws people in. We want to be around people who are optimistic. That makes us feel good. It's powerful and it's very encouraging. And it transfers. The energy transfers. And now I'm going to be optimistic too because you don't see no problem. Oh, well, then there is no problem. Let's go. Number 10, you smile a lot. You have a great smile. Yes, a smile is very engaging. It makes you look friendly and it makes you look like you're happy and people want to be around happy people. That easy. So if you find yourself always frowning, it is not the right way, sir. How about you start smiling? Number 11, you are clean. I know that shouldn't be something that is like, oh my God, you're so attractive because you can't. But you know how many motherfuckers are dirty, dirty on them, dirty clothes, smelling bad. And in their house, their house, their car, their office, wherever, it's dirty. No, no, sir. I don't want to enter your dirty life. So yes, just you being clean is actually something that's very attractive because it's so many people who are messy, who are dirty. And uh, yeah, I want no parts. So yeah, just that makes you attractive. And number 12, one of my favorite one, helping other people. I'm not saying you don't help yourself and you only pay attention to others. Obviously, you help yourself. But taking the time to go and help others is very attractive. That shows that there's something in your heart. So you're not just selfish. You don't just focus on yourself. You actually care about others. And me thinking you care about others is going to make me feel like you're going to care about me. So right there, that's a very attractive trait. So that's it. Those were 12 reasons why you're actually harder than what you think, more attractive than what you think. You might just think those are regular, but again, those 12 things are actually kind of rare. I know you're like, shut up. That's easy. I have all of these. Well, if you have all of these, then you're fucking hot. That's all I got to say to you. But yeah, you know how many people are not clean? How many people don't take pride in their appearance? How many people are not humble? How many people are not optimistic? How many people are just, um, I don't know, what else? How many people don't want to grow? How many people uh, are not responsible financially? I'm telling you. So if you're out of this, you are actually fucking hot. You can get any bitch with those. I am telling you. But yes, it's just me. It's just my words. So if you want some more words of wisdom from Melly, 
you go get my book or my ebook or my course at shopmelimonaco.com. And I would appreciate you. There is more gems in that that I haven't revealed yet in all them videos I've been doing for years. But uh, yes, I recommend it. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, I don't recommend my own book. That shit is trash. Yes, whatever. <laughs> I need to go because I, I feel silly right now. I feel silly. I don't know what's going on. All right. Um, all right, guys. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for tuning in all the time. And uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully I, I boost a little bit of your energy today, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of your confidence, because if you got that, you're pretty awesome. All right. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.